All right, Arc signed in, and today, yeah, picked up Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> uh, you probably won't be able to see like a tiny little writing as I've got the camel blown up and stuff, but uh, yeah, I was scrolling through Facebook and noticed that they just slapped it on PC, <clears throat> specifically the GOG Galaxy um, app. Uh, so I downloaded it, it was only 841 meg, took a couple of seconds to download. Um, now if you see my Death Stranding video, you'll know that like Metal Gear was, on the PS1, Metal Gear Solid was one of my most favorite games. One of the games that I kept playing over and over again. Um, and yeah, so I thought, I, I don't, I'm not really a retro gamer, but in, it's Metal Gear Solid. I mean, come on, I've, I've got to play this again. Like, I had to get a tattoo of Grey Fox. <laughs> so yeah, uh, funny enough, it goes straight into the game. So there's no main menu at the moment. So what I've done is I'm, I'm on my desktop. Um, I'm gonna switch over to gameplay now. And yeah, we'll start it from here. If it wants to boot, there we go. All right, I'm hoping the audio is working fine. Ah, okay. Oh no, that's fine. It played the uh, played the intro when I first booted. It just see what it was like. Um, let me go into options. Any graphics options? Right there. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, it's square. Okay. Um. So I'm sure it was Circle, where, yeah, it was Circle when I played this. In fact, I'm, I don't even know why I'm saying Square and Circle because I'm using a uh, <laughs> Xbox One controller. Um, there's nothing much to change on it, to be honest. Oh, wait, actually, Advanced. Um, not much to change there. Uh, wait, we've got a higher resolution there. Um, rendering device. Primary display driver. Uh, I don't know what that sh will change actually. To be honest. All right, let's let's uh, let's start this again. See if that makes it any better. Can't really tell the difference to be honest. Oh, look at the blurriness. <laughs> it's just the straight port. There's there's nothing. They've done nothing to it. But uh, I'm not gonna complain. Oh no, there we go. It's gone straight into the game this time. <coughs> Would have been nice to start to the main menu, but... Oh, just reminds me of being a kid again. Oh, and I did hear it actually as well, that there might be... There's a possibility that there might be a remaster of this coming to the PS5. Which I'm... Sorry. Shame I can't play this all for you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island and Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. I'm just I'm thinking. High-tech special forces unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. I'm really curious to see how the Psycho Mattis work. Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, 
Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. I'm not sure I'm code name is you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Okay, I'm thinking I might shrink the gameplay. Oh, what? Why is it... Oh, strange. Why is it... Oh, there we go. Strange. shrink the screen down so because I'm, I'm cutting out a corner of the gameplay i know i usually do that anyway but um, i'm pretty sure the radar is in the top right anymore. i know it i'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies Situation, Snake. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. I'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small no, parts of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Break the wall. Okay. Know why. I'm ready to go. I don't mind fourth wall breaks, but I think it's just because this game is like, so serious. And then it's like, push the select button. <laughs> yeah, you can't see my radar at all. What's happened? Okay, you got to do with that. Right, <laughs> the buttons are all different. Um, well, I can see the radar anyway, which is yeah, just fine for me. Valeria. 
I am so glad this is like been released. There we go. So start and select if you do end up playing this. PC is actually left and right and looks stay clicked. Trying to, trying to trip out Mantis by moving your um, controller over to the second game board. It's just like, it's, it's not really going to work on PC. The problem, oh, that's another thing as well. I wonder how that works in the remaster as well, if they are doing a remaster on the PS5. of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. It's a shame they didn't add Metal Gear Solid 3 to the GOG Galaxy. I used to love that one as well. That was so good. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? Silence. Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> uh, You're just flattering uh, me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. 
First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Well, that reminds me Remember, of except for your binoculars, you're naked. I don't have a you need to arm case. yourself with whatever <laughs> weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Alright. You can see them lasers. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. I guess no frag grenades. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay. Right. I guess I need to touch these lights here. If I can get into the middle there. Most of the game you spend looking at this radar. Oh, he's sleeping. Um, how did I do this before? I think I'll just use the. Oh, he's waking up. No, he's not. Um. Sure, yeah, so calm. There we go. Yeah, let's just let's just go this way. It's easier. A surveillance camera. have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. 
They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hein will be coming back thing. soon. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Okay, right. I mean, let's just have a look at the uh, video settings again. Why oh, is it square this time, isn't it? There we go. Uh... Controller options. Oh, I can't. To be honest, I'm not going to mess around with any of that. What is that? Why is he doing that? That's really weird. Alright, let's continue. I was hoping I could sort of move the screen around so it's like a little bit out of the way. because it kind of looks like I'm playing this without a radar. <laughs> huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first Very floor of the basement. <laughs> what about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? around. Um, there we go. Trying what why. Press the action button to drop down. Press the action button to drop down. Yeah, 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 that's cool. I got it. Don't worry. Grab this thing. Ration. change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. I kind of like pressing the uh, analog stick to uh, answer the code.
It's so weird how this is all just coming back to me. Up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Hmm. The DARPA chief. Ventilation shaft. So this is what we see Meryl doing them setups. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button. Cold? I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Yeah, I forgot how good the audio is for when this came out. It's really good, clear audio. Chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Imagine that's how people spoke to him. Take a look around in first person view mode. Here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Came down Slow down. Shaft. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? 
The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuclear weapon. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. See, so I never that's played the reason the you were here at this disposal This site. was the first Metal Gear game I ever played. Why else did I come to a godforsaken place like this? I think it was two of them, I think. I had heard two, the Metal Gear so project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? You really think he's just talking to himself? <laughs> But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. 
As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What happened? What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Right, okay. Um. Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Sure, I can open the first door. There she is. Don't move! <laughs> I forgot that used to make me laugh. The guy's just butt naked with his ass like in the air. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! How do I do this? I'm so confused. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Must reload. I'm pretty sure the, these buttons are different from what they used to be. Alright, come on. Let's do this now. Come on, finish him! Right, what are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Select. That's completely backwards. Don't move. I just wanted to use a bit of ration just to get some health back. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Okay. 
What's the relay button? Thanks for the help. Wait! <laughs> Who are you? You fool! From what I remember, that was how you he worked out as a woman. Not by I'm sorry, sir. sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Is there even a reload option? Uh... Oh, I guess you can't reload then. Oh. I always thought you could. where we get to revolve rust a lot. Oh yeah, the trapdoors. I forgot about them. Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. I can't. 
and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. Yeah, I'm okay. Yes, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm supposed to be on that. I'm sure I'm supposed to blow a hole in this wall. Let me see for it.
let's go to Arsenal. Pretty sure I'll fail at this fight. Let's see. Is this bit? Yeah, there we go. No, this bit. Response up here. Alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4! Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw. Draw! Draw! Hiding won't help you. Let's go! 
But to you, it will be the smell of your own death. Pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the Great man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's 
not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, 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 that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Cold War. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb, 
We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no! Oh, oh, no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Snapped on that ration. Right, um, let me save it because I think this will have to be. Wait, oh, we did it. Okay. So, yeah, this will have to be the um, 
the end of this video because it's late, I'm getting tired, it's an hour and 20 minutes this one. Um, my new rule is I want to try and keep like the first parts of these videos quite short. But I think that was where the demo used to end, as far as I can remember. Um, and I think next, uh, I think next fight is, is what's his name? Is it What's his name? The big guy with the minigun. Oh god, it was ages ago since I played this, but it's, it's nice to be back in this, honestly. It's, uh, it's nostalgic. Um, yeah, I might, I might stream this tomorrow night again. So, uh, yeah, if, you've, if, if you're watching this on YouTube and you made it all the way to this point, or you just fast forward or whatever, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Sark signed out. Cheers.